Hey everyone, Cerebral Tackle here. In case you missed my live breaking news, I'm going to go ahead and give you the nuts and bolts of what happened today with the court case of Jacob Runyon and Chase Kaminsky with the walleye cheating scandal out of Ohio. Let's get right to it. Remember when I said that if there was a plea deal to be reached, it would happen in the 11th hour? Well, it did moments before the gavel came down today. The prosecution accepted a plea deal from Runyon and Kaminsky where they pled guilty to charges one and four, one being the felony of cheating at a sporting event, and four being the misdemeanor unlawful possession of wildlife charge. Unfortunately, what this means is, is that the theft by deception charge and the possession of criminal tools charges, those two felonies, have been dropped with this plea deal. The prosecutor is recommending six months probation and a possible three years loss of their fishing licenses. One other thing that will come out of this though is they have had to forfeit that ranger boat as part of the plea deal. Now, three years loss of fishing license isn't much. Fines, fees, all that stuff will be determined by Judge Stephen Gall on May 11th of this year when sentencing is handed down. There is hope. The judge does have the ability to look at the plea deal Look at the parties and say, I'm not going for it. Go back, come up with something different. So, pleading to one felony and one misdemeanor, getting the other two felonies dropped, yeah, it's fairly light. It's completely up to Judge Gall on May 11th of this year to decide whether he's going to go with it or recommend something different. The ball's in his court. Now, to anyone who's thinking they're going to be able to fish another tournament again, good luck with that. Even when they get their fishing licenses back, whenever that'll be, it's up to the tournament director whether you get to fish. There's no self-respecting tournament director on this planet that's ever going to let these guys fish again. So forget it. It's not going to happen. Somebody asked me in my live event, and please go check out the live, of whether they would be able to guide after all this is said and done. I don't know. Some states have something in the rules about a licensed guide haven't committed any crime of immoral turpitude, okay, i.e. lying, cheating, stealing, that kind of thing. If they have that law in Ohio, no, they won't be able to guide. I say that, but that's pending on this next part. The prosecution said that at the end of six months, they would not challenge expungement of their criminal record. Yeah, it means at the end of six months probation, if they're good boys, their criminal record could be expunged. What the hell, Ohio? Anyway, that's what you've got here, guys. The prosecutor's recommending six months probation, up to three years loss of the fishing license, loss of the ranger boat, and is willing to not fight expungement after the probation period's up. That's where we're at. Whether Judge Gall will go with that, we don't know. We're going to have to wait till May 11th. But come back here for the first information, the right information from credible sources within the courts. And also the wonderful, wonderful Matt Markey, who has so gracefully permitted use of this picture for the thumbnail. Thank you, Matt. Um, all my sources out there, you guys know who you are. I thank each and every one of you through this journey. We're not done yet. We're going to follow up with the May 11th sentencing, absolutely, and all their other off-the-water escapades. I'm going to stay on that, too. So you guys can't get rid of me that freaking easy. So I just wanted to give you a short video, kind of a shrunken down of the live. There's a lot more information in the live. Please go check it out. I know it's, you know it's a long thing, but we had a lot of fun. Got to talk to a, wonderful, a lot of wonderful viewers. I appreciate everyone for showing up. Thank each and every one of you. To all my haters out there that are going to get this information, a lot of the information I got, I got from sources that don't know who they are, uh, that are well tied in with the case, so take that for what it is. If they're spouting the same stuff, guess who they probably got it from. But we're used to that by now, right? The only thing they don't do is cite their sources. I cite mine, with the exception of a couple that have to remain anonymous for certain reasons. And we all know that's something called the First Amendment. Anyway, enough of that. I appreciate y'all being here. Be looking forward to my next video coming out. Look at my community page. 
you guys will find that fish identification challenge there, or that view of that fish from his big old belly. Look at that in the community page. Tell me what fish you think it is. I'm going to do a little video revealing it, and it may surprise a few of y'all. That'll be coming up here soon, too. So, please like, share, subscribe on the way out the door. Grab your tackle. It's getting warmer. Get out there. Keep it wet.